He loved his plants. His plants were in pots. There were ten pots in back of the house. There were eight pots in front of the house. There was a different plant in every pot. No plants were the same. They were all different. They were all beautiful. It was Friday. It was time to water the plants. He watered the plants once a week. He went outside. He grabbed the hose. It was green and long. It was about forty feet long. He turned on the water. Water came out of the end of the hose. He watered each plant in back of the house. He watered each plant until the soil was dark and wet. He watered each plant until the soil was soft. Then he went out front. The hose out front was also green. It was thirty feet long. He watered all the plants out front. Puddles of water were around each pot. There were eight puddles of water out front. Butterflies and bees visited the wet plants. He watched for a while. Then he went back inside. Next week, he would water the plants again. He was poor. He needed more money. He needed a good job. He had a job, but it wasn't a good job. It was a bad job. He was a waiter. He worked in a restaurant. It was a cheap restaurant. The meals were cheap. The customers were cheap. They usually gave him quarters for tips. Sometimes they gave him a dollar. Sometimes they gave him nothing. That made him. Angry. Why did they give him nothing? He was polite. He was helpful. Yet they gave him nothing. He wanted to kick those customers, but then he would go to jail. He didn't want to go to jail, so he went to school. School was free. He wanted to be a mechanic. He liked to fix things. He wanted to fix cars. He wanted to own a car shop. He would make money. He would hire other mechanics. That would work for him. He would buy a house. He would get married. He would have a family. Life would be good. Right now, life was bad, but he would make it better. Today was her lucky day. She was late for the bus, but the bus was late too. So she didn't miss her bus. She was late for work, but her boss was late too. So her boss didn't know that she was late. She didn't have any cash for lunch, but her friend had a two-for-one lunch coupon. So she got a free lunch. Her boss was feeling a little sick. He told everyone to take the afternoon off. She went to the park. A green piece of paper was under the park bench. She picked it up. It was a five-dollar bill. 
She looked around. Where did the money come from? There was no one around. She was the only one in the park. There were some birds and squirrels in the park, but this was not their money. This was her money. It was her lucky money. She went across the street to the liquor store. The lottery jackpot was worth ten million dollars. She bought five lottery tickets. She knew that one of them would be lucky. This was her lucky day. We have a nice house. It has three bedrooms. It has three bathrooms. It is a one-story house. It doesn't have any stairs. It doesn't have a second floor. It doesn't have a basement. It does have an attic. It has a chimney and a fireplace. It has a kitchen. It has a dining room. It has a living room. The living room has a big sofa and a big TV. Our living room is our family room. We watch TV together. We play games together. We play games like Scrabble and Monopoly. We enjoy those games. They are fun to play. We have a small front yard. We have a big backyard. We don't have a swimming pool. We don't have a garden. We have a two-car garage. My mom has a blue Cadillac. My dad has a red Honda. I have a bicycle and a skateboard. My sister does too. She's a good skateboarder for a girl. We live on a quiet street. We never hear police sirens or fire sirens. I go to a nice school. Some day I will get married. I will own a nice house on a quiet street, and I will have a swimming pool in the backyard. Wash your hands. Wash your hands often. Wash your hands ten times a day. Clean hands fight germs. Clean hands look good. Clean hands smell good. Everything you touch has germs. Money has germs. Germs live on money for days. Paper money is dirty. Metal money is dirty. Folding money is dirty. Coins are dirty. Everyone touches money. Sick people touch money. Wash your hands after you touch money. Door handles are dirty. Germs live on door handles for weeks. Germs love door handles. Everyone touches door handles. Sick people touch door handles. Wash your hands after you touch door handles. People are dirty. People have germs. Germs love people. Germs live on people for months. Wash your hands after you touch other people. Wash your hands after you hug other people. Wash your hands after you shake hands with other people. 
Wash your hands and wash some more. You can't wash your hands too often. She will write a letter to her grandma. She will write about her day at school. She will write about her classmates. She will write about her teacher. She will write about the classroom. She will write about her school bus. She will write about her school bus driver. She won't write about her pets. She won't write about her fat black cat. She won't write about her little red dog. She won't write about her soft white rabbit. She won't write about her big brown horse. That's because she doesn't have a big brown horse. Not yet. She wants a big brown horse for her birthday. She will write a letter to her daddy about the horse. She will ask her daddy for a big brown horse. A big brown horse will be a perfect birthday gift. She will never want another birthday gift. A horse will make her happy forever. The letter to her daddy will ask for a horse. Maybe daddy will give her a horse. Then she will write a new letter to her grandma. She will tell grandma about the new brown horse. There was a bus accident. The bus accident was near a dam. The bus ran off the road. The bus tipped over. Two people died. Eight people were hurt. The bus driver was going too fast. The road is a two-lane road. It is a narrow road. It isn't a wide road. The road is not straight. It bends a lot. It curves a lot. The road looks like a snake. The speed limit is 25 miles per hour. The bus was going 50 miles per hour. The passengers were afraid. The bus ran into a guardrail. Then the bus tipped over. Passengers yelled. Passengers screamed. Passengers fell down. Passengers fell on other passengers. Luggage flew through the air. Luggage hit people. Luggage hit people in the face. Luggage hit people in the head. The windows broke. The windshield broke. Glass was everywhere. Bodies were everywhere. Luggage was everywhere. The ambulances came. They took people to the hospital. The police came. They took the driver to jail. He has a headache. His headache started an hour ago. His head feels like it will explode. Of course, his head wouldn't explode. It just feels that way. The headache is in the back of his head. That is where his headaches usually are. Sometimes he has headaches on the top of his head. 
Sometimes he has headaches in the front of his head. Sometimes his headaches are between his eyes. Sometimes his whole head hurts. But usually the back of his head hurts. His headache started while he was reading. Reading causes headaches for him. He hates his headaches, but he loves to read. He reads for only 15 minutes. Then he stops reading. He takes a break. If he reads for 16 minutes, he'll get a headache. So he tries to take a break every 15 minutes, but sometimes he forgets to take his break. Today, he forgot to take a break. Now he must wait until the headache goes away. It will take an hour or two. Then he can read again. But right now, he must live with the pain. She likes magazines. She likes to look at the pretty photos. Magazines have photos of people. They have photos of animals. They have photos of clothes. They have photos of food. She sees a photo of a hamburger. It looks so delicious. The photo of the hamburger makes her hungry. She goes to the refrigerator. She opens it. She wants a hamburger, but there is no hamburger in the refrigerator. The hamburger is at McDonald's, but she is a little kid. She can't drive to McDonald's. She can't call McDonald's because they don't deliver. A hamburger place is not like a pizza parlor. A pizza parlor delivers. Her mom was at work. She would have to wait until mom came home. She would drive her to McDonald's. She sat down again. She turned the page. There was a photo of chocolate ice cream. The ice cream was in a cone. Oh, what a beautiful photo. She licked her lips. It looked so delicious. Mom, please come home soon, she thought. Many people love to watch basketball. The Lakers are a great basketball team. The Clippers are a terrible basketball team. Both teams call Los Angeles their home. They play at the Staples Center. The Staples Center is new. It is a shiny new arena. It is in downtown Los Angeles. It is next to two freeways. It is next to the 110 freeway. It is next to the 10 freeway. The 110 goes north and south. The 10 goes east and west. Many basketball fans take the freeways to Staples Center. They drive their cars on the crowded freeways. The crowded freeways have too many cars. The fans park their cars in the huge parking lot. Parking is not cheap. It is $22. The fans walk to the arena from the parking lot. They buy their tickets. The cheap tickets are $10. The expensive tickets are $2,600.
Rich people buy the expensive tickets. Poor people buy the cheap tickets. The rich people sit very close to the basketball court. They talk to the players. The poor people sit far away from the basketball court. They talk to each other.